Welcome to Realistic Survival. What I'm going to be discussing today is what kind of hatchet should you take if you're going to be hiking or backpacking, which could potentially turn into a survival situation. Now, I could also throw in axes as well, but let's be honest, if you're just hiking or something, you're probably not going to take an axe with you. I sometimes do, but that's just me. So we're going to be discussing axes. I mean, sorry, I mean hatchets. Get a little flustered here. I get my mind starts to go a little crazy when I'm surrounded by all kinds of awesome gear. So I apologize. But let's get into it. The first hatchet we're going to talk about is this little Camillus hatchet. Now, honestly, if you're just going to be out for like a day hike in a small area where you're not going to get stranded or something, this is a nice little hatchet. It's light, you know, it's very quick in the hand, it's very sharp, and it'll probably do most of the things you're going to ask it to do. But if you're out in the deep wilderness and it turns into a survival situation, I honestly don't know how long this thing will last. It's very thin, like the hammer is thin. For a hatchet, like for a little hatchet like this, it's more like a tomahawk. It's got a decent thickness blade. It's not too thick, not too thin. But the hammer end is really little. And it's just like a plastic or fiberglass handle. I really don't know how long this would hold up. And as far as gathering wood goes, you're going to want something a little bit more substantial than this. So... I probably wouldn't grab this if you're going to be out on a hiking or something in the wilderness. And yeah, so nice little tool. Maybe not for that. Next one we're going to talk about is this little Shrade hatchet. Now, I like this hatchet a lot. And if you're going to be just camping or something, this is a great hatchet. It's probably going to do everything you want. It'll split some small wood pretty easy. It's got a nice hammer end on it. It's very sharp. It's got a nice big head on it. It's small. It's not too heavy. But in a survival situation, I don't know if I can depend on something this small. I, I just don't know if it'll do the job. I mean, I, I'd like something a little bit beefier than this. So, again, if you're just out for a night or two camping, or if you're just for like a little hike in the woods and not going too far, this is fine. Anything more than that, again, maybe take something a little bigger than that. Now, this one's going to seem a little silly, but I'm going to throw in a tomahawk in here. And I actually got two of them to discuss, but that's different. This one, this, I don't even think of this as a tool, to be honest with you. This is something I bought for fun. Like, this is one of those cheap tomahawks that you buy for fun. And even if it was uh, an expensive tomahawk, I still probably wouldn't take it for a survival situation. Could it do the jobs? Eh, yeah, maybe. But, I don't know. It would make a good weapon in a self-defense situation, like if you get attacked by a coyote or something. But, you know, it's not going to be good for splitting wood and... Basically, what you want the hatchet for is fire gathering and or wood gathering for fire. And I don't know if this will really be that helpful. For small stuff, it's fine. But if you're going to be out there for a long time, you want bigger wood, definitely pass on these little tomahawks. But speaking of tomahawks, I, I can't mention a hatchet video or something without talking about my old friend here, the Trailhawk. Now, as you can see, I did shorten the handle on mine, and it's heavily customized, of course. You can see the videos if you go back and look. I, I cut mine down to a 16-inch handle. They come with, I believe, a 22-inch handle. I like the 16-inch one better because it feels more like an actual tomahawk. I think this would be a very good weapon as well and for, like, close quarters or indoor combat. You want it a little bit shorter. 22 inches is just a little too long. And this small head looked really weird on a very long handle. Like, I, I didn't mind it, but I just thought the handle was a little too long. I kept my Rifleman's Hawk long, but this one I shortened. And this one, I would take with me hiking all the time. I, I mean, I do. I take this one a lot. And honestly, in a survival situation, uh, this will do a lot better than the other Tomahawk. And it'll probably do a lot better than... 
the Camillus hatchet or even the straight hatchet for that matter. And I like this one a lot. And if you break the handle, you can just carve out a new handle. But as far as splitting wood goes, this just doesn't have the, I mean, you can, you really can, but it's just not great for that. So yeah, I'm like, I, I, I'd consider it, but it's probably not going to be my top choice. Here we got the Estwing double bit axe, and I actually love this thing. It's an absolute beast. And this one looks more like a tomahawk too, but I, I'm going to consider it a hatchet. And I would actually take this one if I was going to be hiking, camping, whatever. And in a survival situation, this one probably do pretty well. It's very, very sharp on both ends. If you dull one end out, you got the other end. It's surprisingly heavy, so it'll definitely split wood. It's actually not too thin, and it does get wider right here, so... It is decent for splitting small wood. <clears throat> I don't know how well it would do for like a big log or big log, but for a smaller stuff, just for a little fire pit, this would probably do just fine. So this is actually a, a pretty decent choice if you can believe that. I, I highly recommend you pick one up anyway. It's only 50 bucks and they're awesome. But I'm going to say if I'm going to go hiking, camping, or something, anything that could potentially turn into a survival situation, I always make sure I have a proper hatchet. And I know there's all kinds of other hatchets, you know, big expensive ones and stuff, I can't afford them. So this is a good budget option, but it's very, very solid, very, very strong. This is a Fisker's hatchet. And this thing has been with me through so much it's it's unreal and it just keeps going it's still incredibly razor sharp and i know it's only got a plastic handle so you think oh if it breaks it's you're fucked but these are damn near indestructible this thing is so super tough you got the hammer end on it i mean it's nice and wide look at the profile of that so yeah you got the splitting power you got the chopping power the blade is big enough, and you're going to be getting pretty good wood with this. This is a very, very good choice to take with you. So if I'm going to go in the wilderness on a hike or a camping trip or anything that could turn into a survival situation, I'm almost certainly going to make sure I got a hatchet like this. So always remember that just because you don't think it's going to turn into a survival situation doesn't mean it won't. Anything can happen. Always be prepared and always have the proper tool for the job. So that's my video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Make sure you subscribe and anything else you want to add, let me know in the comments down below.